Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm going to do some mixed media play using different colors and shades of blue to make some gel prints. I've got an 8 by 10 gel print here on my left, and I have a 5 by 7 over here on the right because I have them. Because I've found that I like using the book text on top of the smaller one to do collages and this one I can use an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. So basically all I'm going to do is sit here and play. I'll try to show you a little bit about what I'm doing as I go along. So I'm going to get started here. I think I'm going to start with this shade of blue just to see how it looks. And I'm putting just a little bit on one and then I may brayer it onto the other as well so I can just get some interesting color and coverage and I'll just keep adding colors. I'll also be using stencils that I have in my shop as well as some stamps that I have in my shop so that if you see something here I'm trying to use things that you can still get. Um, the paints that I'm using, I'm using a mix of what I call artist grade paints that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I'm also using some um, just crafters paints, these little cheap crafters paints that you can usually get for a under a dollar. So I'm right now I'm just trying to add a little bit of color to this and I want a really dark and but a, a interesting background. So that made for an interesting background there. I'll try to show you some of the prints as I go along, but at the end I'll kind of flip through them. So I'm going to kind of fast forward through this and I'll probably be listening to some music and you can watch as I create. Well, I finished my play session using the blues and I thought I would share with you the prints that I made and some of the tools that I used. So this one was using my stencil that I have in my subscription box and now it's quite coated in paint. But this is a snowflake stencil that's inside my Winter Bliss subscription box and then here it is again using that stencil and again and then here's just some blues that I just thought were kind of pretty and then this was my uh, piece of paper that I used to clean my brayer off and I also had stamped off the diamond stamp that I have in my shop and then here's just a, some blues blue and gray a lighter blue with a metallic kind of a tealy color. I plan on scanning in the ones that I just are in love with that I think are just fabulous and then I'm going to be doing a mixed media project with these prints for a swap that I'm in. There's with that stencil again. I just love the way this looks. Again. I was just trying to play with different shades of blue. This one was still wet and I tried to print on top of it again and so it lifted the paper but I think I can use part of this. I just thought it was interesting how it turned out. And then here's some eight and a half by 11s. This is a um, eight by 10 gel print. 
on standard copy paper. This was used in the stamp through here. Kind of got some unusual looks to that. I like the color in this one with just that stenciling kind of coming through. This is just a wild background or element that you could use. If I have some of these that are good enough, I will probably add them to my shop as a downloadable. It's another one I really like. And then this one. I hope you enjoyed just kind of seeing me play and see how things come together. I'll take a few still shots real quick. And like I said, I'll scan these in. If you're interested in any of the items that I share, please check out the description box below for links to my blog, as well as to my shop, my Facebook groups, all of my social media. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do and hit that notification bell at the top. Let's see. I am live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Times doing all kinds of things and it's a fun experience. So mark your calendar and come to that. What else? I don't know. I'm just, you know, having fun, playing, trying new things. And if you have questions or comments, please use that comment box below. If there's a project you would like for me to show, share, teach also leave that below as well. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to like, comment, subscribe. It really makes my day. and I really appreciate the support that you give me. You have a fabulous day. Sending you lots of love. Bye.